A mass on a spring bounces up and down in simple harmonic motion modeled by the function s of t equals six sine t, where s is measured in centimeters and t is measured in seconds. We're asked to find the rate at which the spring is oscillating at t equals five seconds and round to four decimal places. Looking at the graph below, this is the graph of s of t equals six sine t. The rate at which the spring is oscillating at t equals five seconds is the slope of the tangent line at the point when t equals five seconds, which is the slope of the red tangent line shown here. In order to find the rate at which the spring is oscillating, we need to determine the velocity function and then evaluate the velocity function at t equals five seconds. The velocity function is equal to the derivative of the position function s of t. So s prime of t is equal to the velocity function which is equal to the derivative of six sine t, which is six cosine t. And now we need to evaluate the velocity function at t equals five seconds, which we can see is six cosine five. And now we need to evaluate six cosine five on a graphing calculator. We do need to make sure the calculator is in radian mode. Using the Desmos scientific calculator, we toggle between radian and degree mode by clicking here. This is degree mode, this is radian mode. In radian mode, we enter six cosine five, enter. And again, we're told to round to four decimal places. Notice we have a seven in the fifth decimal place, which indicates you round up. And because we have a nine in the fourth decimal place, to four decimal places, the value rounds to 1.7020. We do need the zero in the fourth decimal place because this does indicate we bounded to four decimal places. And notice how this is verified by the slope of the tangent line. We can see the tangent line does have a positive slope. We now know the spring is oscillating at a rate of approximately 1.7020 centimeters per second at t equals five seconds. I hope you found this helpful.